Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. A biography on Jack Chick. Now, a lot of people have never heard of Jack Chick, but they've seen Chick tracks, these little illustrated tracks that are oblong. They've sold almost a billion of those, so they're all over the place. This was your life, probably the most famous one. Well, he was the author and the illustrator of these. And uh, he did about 150 titles in his lifetime. As a matter of fact, he was such a force on the American scene that when he died back, I think it was last October, November 2016, that the New York Times and the Washington Post had huge obituaries for him. So even though they would disagree with almost everything he said, they realized that he had a lot of influence on the American Christian scene. And so he was somewhat of a recluse, and there's a reason for that. Uh, first of all, he wanted God to get all the glory. Second of all, he was so controversial, whether it was on the ecumenical movement, whether it was about Catholicism, whether it was about Islam, whether it was on you know something else, the demonism, Satanism, on and on and so forth. He had a lot of groups that hated his guts and wanted to kill him. So he just kind of backed off. I, January of 2015, I was preaching right beside Ontario, California and I wanted to go see him. And so I went to Chick Publications, purchased some things, and they said, you just missed him. So uh, he was 90 years old at the time. Would have really liked to have seen him. So he was a man of prayer. That's one of the things. Um, show you some of the... Uh, here's just some, some of his iconic artwork and illustrations. And he was so good that he, there's a, a whole um, group that collect chick tracks and chick comic books that aren't even Christians. There's like this fan club of people because they just look at his extremely amazing artwork. Here's like 25 of his tracks. I think Holy Joe may have been the second most popular tracks. But he would do tracks against Jehovah's Witnesses, against Mormons. And, and they would be very well documented for the most part. At least those would. Some of his tracks weren't so well documented. Or when he would document it and say, look at this track, you look at that track, and it would just be his, his statement, which it may have been a true statement, but it wasn't uh, documented per se. 151,000 died today, a description of hell. And he's got some paintings that are just out of this world, like on the New Jerusalem, like on hell, like on uh, a lady at death, um, spiritual warfare, absolutely incredible paintings. Now, Jack Chick would have been in the mainstream of fundamentalism until about 1980. And uh, it was then, you know, he backed... Uh, John Todd, who claimed to have been an Illuminati Druid priest. And I think all that turned out to be bogus. But wherever he went, there were record burnings. And uh, he said the record industry would put curses on every album that came out, every song. And he would get up to preach and he'd have a gun because he'd say the Illuminati is against me and looking for me and all that. So it was kind of sensationalism. And America has, has been known for that. And uh, then when he backed Alberto Rivera, that's when everything broke loose for him and some of the claims there. So can't wait to get into the book and uh, just wanted to make you aware that it's out there. The authorized biography of Christian cartoonist Jack Chick by David Daniels and uh, David Daniels real partner with him. He's got a ton of great videos out, ton of great books out. I appreciate David's spirit. He and I, you know, I'm Pentecostal, Holy Ghost filled. I would not believe uh, like David does in a lot of ways. We have some unanimity of agreement, but you can't question that he always tries to keep a very good attitude. Attitude, very good spirit. So God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus.